All right, I'm going to uh, change the base on this uh, clay because I'm, I'm coming up with it just too short. Uh, you can see this hind leg here, and that hoof is going to be going off the base, which is going to be every time I move this thing around, I got to be careful that I don't bump the, the hoof, which will be, uh, you know, off the side of the base there. So, I'll be right back and I'll talk and explain what I'm doing. Um, so I got me a board at the hardware store. And I'm just going to take this off of this board. It's not going to harm it. It's just going to mean I got to change out the uh, the board. And um, then I got to remount it and uh, reposition it. I'm thinking of putting a, another figure, a walking figure, beside the horse. I'm, the idea. I'm coming up with a, a kind of a idea that I kind of like. Uh, I'm thinking of a mountain man who's traded for a Indian woman to be his wife or his companion, and uh, she's had a baby, and they're walking, or they're going to the village to show the baby off to the, her parents, and I've just got to come up with a title, but it's an idea that I think would be a good, interesting sculpture. I've taken, oh, I forgot to get the screws that are holding the board to the uh, turntable. Well, I don't know if I'll have enough room for another figure now that I look at this. Um, the other figure would have to be about here. So it's not going off the base. And uh, I'll be right back. Oh, well, this is, uh, it might work out. It might work out. They're both the same armatures. This one is just missing the, uh, the wire for the foot, but I can certainly replace that. I just got to figure out what that would have them doing. But uh, I kind of like the idea. It g creates a story. Now I better anchor. I got to move the horse up. A little bit. I just got to figure out what I'm going to do. But for now, I think I'm just going to go ahead and get the horse uh, going and uh, worry about all that stuff uh, when I get to that point. Right now, I just want to get the horse blocked in. All right, that's gonna change the uh, movement of the horse too, because I can't have the horse walking while the cowboy, the mountain man is stopping and looking behind him. Or stopping and looking at the uh, wife. I don't know what I'm gonna have her him doing yet. I'm just sort of trying to figure all this out right now.
Well, the first thing I need to do is anchor this board. It wants to slide around. It's a smooth board. I think I got everything in a good position. What I'm doing here is outlining the uh, line of the belly, which will actually be a little bit thicker because he's going to have muscle underneath the uh, rib cage, and uh, so it's going to be just a little thicker. But uh, yeah, I just. Got to move this leg in, I think. And if he's going to be standing there, the horse's head might turn more towards him. All right. There goes his belly. <laughs> I got to get that right. All right, I'll be right back. Got to put the cutting boards on and uh, get ready to start adding clay. Okay, I'm going to just clean the sawdust off.
All right, as you can see, I got a lot of work ahead of me. I spent most of the day just trying to get the uh, switched over to this board and trying to figure out what I'm going to do. And uh, I got a lot of work on that rear end. I'm not happy with it at all. So I've got to do a lot more on that. And uh, I'll pick this up tomorrow. All right, everybody. Have a great night. I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.